In this video, I will give you guys three things that you must change if you want to have a better life and be a better version of yourself. what is going on guys so it's your boy back again with another video in this video guys i will give you guys three things that you must change if you want to have a better life and be a better version of yourself all right guys so the first and main factor that you must improve in your life is your sleep Everybody knows that sleep is important for muscle recovery and just to get more energy throughout the day. That's, those are the basics, all right? But it is way deeper than that. Sleep not only affects your recovery, but it also affects literally every single area of your body and how the body functions. And not only is this one of the factors that you must change, this is the most important factor that you must change first of all sleep is the most overlooked and underrated factor of everybody's life you get everybody like oh my god you gotta grind winners don't sleep no sleep game and and, and you think about it and you're like wow this is the most stupid thing i ever heard in my life not only sleep important for regulation of your energy but it is important for hormone regulation, digestion, uh, your cardiovascular health, the way you lose weight. Everything is controlled and regulated by your sleep. And if you don't have a good sleeping routine, your body will not be functioning at its best capacity. So now you might ask, how do you improve your sleep quality? First of all, you gotta make it a priority. Forget all the supplements. The main thing that you have to do when it comes to your sleep is you gotta make a bedtime routine. You gotta wake up and go to sleep at the same time most of the days. This is gonna help your body get used to that time and you'll be able to sleep a lot better. You must also sleep at least minimum seven hours of sleep every single night, no less and no more than nine hours because at that point you just oversleeping. So after you make your uh, sleeping schedule, now I will give you guys a few things that you can change. Small things, but they will make a huge difference. So first of all, stop consuming caffeine six hours before bedtime. Second of all, avoid exposure of blue light at all times an hour or two before bed. Also, make sure that your room is around 65 Fahrenheit so it has been shown to be the most uh, optimal room temperature for better quality of sleep. Another thing you can do is read a book, stretch, take a hot shower before bed so that your muscles and your body is relaxed and not tight. Avoid drinking or smoking with. So now, the second most important factor that you must change about your life is your nutrition. Yes, I am not talking about going on a strict diet. I'm not talking about go paleo, go keto, nothing like that. All right, guys, as we all know, life is all about balance. And any diet that restricts a micronutrient or a group of foods is not balanced. In fact, it is not sustainable. Tell me anyone that has been able to stick to a strict diet for a very long time. None of you guys can do that. Why? Because it's not balanced. Eventually you will break. 
because first of all you don't enjoy it so this is how you can make your nutrition better no anyways you do not have to eliminate anything that you enjoy eating all right there are only five things that I will give you guys that you gotta do number one try to eat low calorie foods all right guys and one last thing about dieting if you want to lose weight try to lose at least one pound or one and a half pounds a week no more than that you want to make sure that you optimize your muscle growth and your energies so that you can perform at the gym yeah make sure that you guys are only losing one pound or one and a half pounds a week if you are super obese you might bump those numbers up, but it won't really affect you because uh, you still have a lot of fat storage in your body. So you will not feel tired and you will still be able to build muscle. But if you lose weight, once very, very slow, a pound or even half a pound a week, you will be able to still gain muscle throughout that process. As long as you are eating optimally and training optimally and resting optimally, all right? All right guys, so unfortunately something happened with the camera that it didn't save this video. The third thing that you have to change in your life, guys, is your mindset. It affects everything and all areas of your life. The way you behave, the way that people think about you and the way you feel about yourself, how confident you are, how disciplined you are. So with the right mindset, you can literally do anything in your life that you set your mind to. So here is how to change your mindset. Let's get it. How do you improve your mindset? Let's start by educating yourself. Start reading more. Learn more about other people. Listen to other people. Uh, improve your communication skills. Learn from other people's mistakes. Another thing that I've been doing lately is I wake up and I spend just like five minutes and I speak to myself. It's not meditation. You can also meditate, whatever you like. But what you have to do is you gotta start speaking to yourself in a positive way. Like, for example, I'm great, I'm confident, I'm loved. I can do whatever I can. I can do whatever my, I put my mind to. I'm not complaining today. I am grateful for everything that I have. And that's another thing that you gotta change when it comes to mindset, being grateful. Guys, start with avoiding complaints, excuses, talking negative about yourself, or talking negative about others. Nothing great comes from talking negative about other people. Say something positive about everybody that you know. Compliment them. And you will see that not difference that you see in yourself and the way other, treat, other people treat you. Alright guys, so that is all I have for the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell. Anyways, and go follow me on Instagram, my guys. I have a lot of content. Literally every single day, I post content on my Instagram. Let's get it. You know, you gotta finish with the double bicep. Hey, they're growing my head.